Hello everybody, we, we excited today. As you know, I'm always bringing excitement on the midday connection because this is a time for us to connect. One of the things that I wanted to make sure that you understand, even when things are rough and out, because we've been going through all kind of stuff in our country, uh, recently in our own area, uh, I just spoke to a couple of people from our church whose house, home has been flooded and you can imagine, so problems, trouble, adversity, different things come uh, in your ways and you have no way of controlling it. But I just want you to understand that we cannot avoid adversity, we cannot avoid, avoid trouble as long as we live in this world. There's going to be some kind of trouble. But today what I really want to talk to you about is how whenever adversity comes your way, whenever trouble comes on your way, that you still need to stand. I want to read a passage uh, for you in, out of Proverbs. This is good advice. Uh, I, I want you to say that to somebody. If you listen with somebody, say, this is good advice. It says that if you faint in the day of adversity, if you faint in the days of adversity, your strength will grow small. Or some versions say your strength is small. Did you realize that the way you approach adversity will determine how strong you're going to be for the next adversity. And so that's why I want to encourage you and challenge you if you didn't hear anything else. I just want you to know, sometimes adversity is not your enemy, but it is your friends. It helps you build muscles that you never thought you had and, and going through stuff that you never thought you could go through. And then in return, helping others going through things that is even much tougher, but yet because you build some of the muscles there. And so I want you to think in terms of adversity, uh, a big day of adversity. I don't know what it may be for you, but I know sometimes your adversity, your trouble may not be my trouble. Did you know that you may be going through something and you're having a rough time and somebody else go through that same thing and then the way they go through it, it's like they never went through anything. We're different. It's okay. I'm not saying it's wrong what, when you go through this. I'm just telling you that there are ways for you to go through things that you don't even know. And so uh, my thing is, what exactly does people have that you don't have? You'd be surprised you may even have more than they have. And so that's why I'm encouraging you as you go through adversity, as you go through trouble, I want you to think of it, that it's not done, it's not over. Your strength don't have to be weak. You don't have to become weaker and weaker, but God does have a way and a plan for you to go through your adversities stronger. I'm gonna give you an example because uh, due to the fact that in our, we have a mini series after we just spent 40 days of victory. And, um, and I just reminded everybody who went through this 40 days of victory uh, series with us. And that just because you went through 40 days of victory uh, means that you will never go through anything else. And it's interesting today I come and talk about adversity. And uh, adversity is something adverse. It comes against you. And, and it's like, why do we still talk about that? Listen, I'm not only talking about that, but I'm here to help you, to understand, to prepare you that when tough times come in your life, don't back away. Stand strong, stand true, and I want you to know uh, God's plan will never change for you. Although you may change, but God's plan will never change. What I wanted to say is uh, there was a truth about uh, what the psalmist was saying. When going through tough time, here's what someone said. It's better to say, 
when the goings get tough, the tough keeps going. When the goings get tough, the tough keeps going. You're not going to stay in that situation forever. That tough going to keep going like a river. That's what my prayer is for you. And if you are going, this says, well, you don't know. It looks like all my life I've been going through stuff. Uh, listen, you don't know what's waiting for you. What's waiting for you is eternity for you to enjoy. If you are a Christian, like if you're not a Christian, I really want to encourage that you check it out. Because listen, and not only that you're going to go through tough things here, but there is even greater I guess havocs waiting for you after if you're not a person who trusts God with your life, trusts Jesus uh, as your personal savior. You say, well, see, I don't like when you guys judging. No, this is not judging. This is telling you the truth. So at least you know you could prepare yourself. Now he says, well, I don't care. Live your truth. Now, if we live our truth, I want you to understand that's a choice you make. But this is not our truth. This is God's heavenly Father, God's truth, and He will help you. But I want you to understand that adversity is relative, because some people could go through the same thing, and then one take it, and then the other one succumb to it. And um, I want you to know God is equal to every adversity. Someone say that God is equal to every adversity, meaning that. There was no adversity that's ever going to be bigger than God. So you can always turn to God. And uh, here's what I want you to understand about adversity. Adversity does not build character. It reveals it. It reveals your character. And so when you go through adversity, pay very close attention to the things that is happening in your life. And uh, survival in adversity makes future survival more likely. Uh, I love this truth. Survival in adversity makes future survival more likely. In other words, you build enough muscles so that when we go through things that are stronger, then you're able to face it and you're able to stand to it. I just want to bless you now. I want to pray. If you have anything that is adverse, that is a trouble in your life, I want you to know, uh, based on what the Bible teaches, God is much bigger than that. And you must turn to Him. I plead with you to turn to a, a God who is holy, who is just, and, uh, and who knows that you're going through these things, but He has a much greater plan uh, for you beyond these things. It's like a river. It's going to keep on flowing. Your adversity is not going to stand still, even that's the way you feel it. Like it, you know, you probably feel like it's been going years and years like that, and yet it's only just one day. <laughs> you know, sometimes that's how bad and how tough things are. And it may just be a few days, a few weeks, you know, and then you're going through the same things, and you're ready to give up. Don't give up. Stand up to it, but stand with God. May God bless you. Let me pray for you. Our gracious God, I thank you for this time. Even as we see in our midweek message, we're thinking about adversity because we see there are all kinds of things that continue to come to it. If it's not, uh, if it's not uh, uh, the, the virus, if it's not the pandemic, it's something else that we feel of our life. Uh, there was a huge thing with security even in this country. Father, maybe our concerns about are concerned about it. And God, I pray, Father, that you help us to know, Father, you will stand with us through everything we go through. That's why the psalmist say, Yea, though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. May, Father, we sense your very presence through our adversity. We trust you. We depend on you. It's in Jesus' name. Our Savior and our Lord, we pray and thank you. Amen. You go get them. Listen, I want us to communicate. If you want to do that, send me a text. Let me know you benefit from this. 
7533. May God bless you. Have an awesome rest of the day.